The Word of God says in 1 Corinthians 6, 2, Know ye not that the saints shall judge the world? And if you're going to judge the world, will you be unworthy in judging the smallest things? Know ye not that you will judge angels? Know ye not that we will judge the world? Are we going to lack power for a certain purpose in the smallest things? Are we going to lack the quality of life that would be necessary to hold forth the sound words that have been given to us by the Apostle Paul, which was spoken in faith and love according to the grace of Christ? He says in 2 Timothy 1, Hold on to what I have deposited by the Holy Spirit that dwelleth in you. And so we have God dealing with Satan's program to distract, to make us unworthy. And Satan's program to get us under his control as he tells us if we do this in disguise, we will be free. To the young person that is so precious, if you will drink and take drugs, at last you will be free. And he constantly tries to make individuals rebel against the obedience of faith. So the word of God so beautifully with the words to home in the Hebrew, the word of God says the deep or the depth of our resources, the depth of our being calleth unto the deep. The original says at the noise of waterfalls, not water spouts. Then it says all of thy waves and billows as they heap up and accumulate are gone over me. But thou, Lord, hast commanded the loving kindness in the daytime. And in the night thy song will be with me as I will speak unto the God of my life. In Psalm 42, 8. But the word deep is very unique. It says that God to a person that has been subjectively converted. This series this week has been in the fountain of life. We see light. And in that light we receive or perceive more light. And that means the academic understanding of the human mind in channel A by the operation of God and his glorious power is transferred to channel B in human spirit and comes down in the five parts of the soul. And it means that the objective is converted and then the Holy Spirit takes one doctrine after another as we mentioned classified doctrine in Ephesians 4.23 and it's transferred to the subjective and that realm of Satan's territory the subjectivity of the mind now with all of its subconsciousness and unconsciousness in comes the deep and in the Hebrew that means he calls us by our name just like John 10 3 says he calls his sheep by their name and leads them out and they follow him in Psalm 42 7 it says he speaks by name to the depth of the unconscious mind with the believer that's fellowshipping in more light, meaning light that goes from A into B and C because the soil was meek in James 1.21 and faith was mixed with what was said in Hebrews 4.2 and God begins this glorious work and all of a sudden the believer that desires to be strengthened with the knowledge of God's will 
and with wisdom and spiritual understanding in their experience that we might walk worthy unto all pleasing of God being fruitful being fruitful in every good work and as we are fruitful and we walk worthy unto God into all pleasing that means that in my unconscious mind I have what it takes to execute and function in the purpose of God 